Holding on for life and limb, the girl was swept away by the balloon to the tallest tower of the Keep of Hearts. Probably less level, yeah? Yeah, okay. What the hell? This is the king? I don't think I've ever seen someone so big. What happened You were. Need more tarts. What? What? Need more tarts. You need more torts? Tart. It's a cake but savory. Oh, tarts. How's this? Don't you think you've had enough already? It's dangerous to go alone. I'll just take this. Ooh, fighting? Shush. Okay then. Ooh, a sword. Nice. What do you look at me? Come on, just cut them off. Ew. Wait. Okay, so then do it here. Cut him. Sorry, big king. Ew. <laughs> what the hell? Uh... <laughs> okay. Room service. You good? Ew. Where the hell did he throw the start? One more for the hatter. It's disgusting. How many do you want? Maybe it's supposed to be something. Hmm. Do I go downstairs and then give him the tart or something? Wait, let me just leave it for now. Oh, I guess I couldn't cross. Wait, can I do that? Oh, okay. Patches! What are you doing up there? She better not have hurt you. Looks like the queen locked you to this chain. I wonder where she keeps the key. In her Hold ass. On. I'll find a way to get you out. Now there's a royal flush if I've ever seen one. Where? I mean, what? Got another. Okay, the chamber. The code. The world. Hm. I don't have a key. Or whatever this is. What? Okay. <laughs> what? Oh. She better not come here. Here, let me just take patches firstly. This is like it's just like Garfield. Jesus, uh, okay, he's too fat for this sack. I guess I'm assuming we should go here. 
down. Sure, why not? Ooh, a hidden bookcase door. That's a classic. Okay. That it? I wanna see just real quick what's behind this door here. Just for fun. Wait, four and a half? Four half, what are you doing over there? Well, I uh, never knew this, but it turns out if you just act like you belong somewhere, most people don't bother to question it. So, here I am on the throne. After bossing all of those other people around, I'm pretty sure I'm a natural. The queen's outside having a fit over something. That hatter seems to know about it. He says he's been waiting for you. Okay, so this is just exit to other levels, but here's a proper exit to the ending, maybe, or something. Hi, Hatter. Oh, the white rabbit told me about you. Did you bring the invitations? All I could find. Ah, I see you have only found a few invitations. This party will be small indeed. Feel free to look for more if you want. I'll be waiting here for whenever you're ready. I've got nowhere else to be. Interesting. So what would happen if I will find every invitation? Is it the different ending or something? I think we'll finish with what we have now and if it's gonna be a different ending then I'll upload the other video to that. But let me just for now leave with that. It was a large final again that would party. Change the or Queen of Hearts was perched at the center of the banquet table, awaiting the girl. So, I should sit there next to her or something? Finish game. Well, that's quite literal. Okay. a long way and I see you've taken back the pet that I took from you that you may or may not have stolen from someone else now tell me how does this story end I have no single idea I have to go home fight this place oh you haven't brought nearly enough invitations to leave what so there are three endings Oh, you don't have nearly enough friends here to challenge me. Okay. I would like to stay. And I just wanted to say, you're doing a great job. Of course I am. I don't think anyone could be doing better. Obviously not. With all of this plotting around me, you'd think I'm the antagonist in this story. No one is grateful for what I've done. And I've done so much. In fact, I can do so much for you. All I demand is your unquelsient loyalty. That sounds great. Very well. I will make you my duchess. You will oversee the cook's duties until the end of days. And one last thing. Don't forget the pepper. Mm. Okay. Is that the ending? The end. Huh. Elise stays in Wonderland. She will be the Queen's Duchess in Wonderland. Yes, she will. But the Queen didn't seem so nice, right. right? Do you think the girl will have a good time? You know, bringing Pepper to the Queen of Hearts until the end of her days? Hmm. Do you think we should have brought her back home? Well... Maybe the girl will live in a big castle? Sure. A huh. huge castle with her own duchess! And... and she will have as much candy as she wants, forever! And she can stay up late and... 
<laughs> yes, yes, all the candy in Wonderland. And maybe next time we tell the story about Elise and Patches, something else will happen. Hey, time hmm. for bed now, my little storyteller. Okay, but I'm going to think of another story about Wonderland before I go to sleep. Well, I'm looking forward to hearing that one tomorrow then. Good night, Grandpa. Sweet dreams, Alice. Huh, okay. We're telling the story to Alice, actual Alice, but we're story Elise. Interesting, so that was pretty much an ending. So it clearly seems like there are other endings, which is new to the quest library, kind of. The only game that done, done that kind of thing, like different endings, kind of, I suppose, is uh, Tokyo Kronos, uh, which, but at the end of the day, the actual endings were not like uh, finished, I guess. You did not finish properly the game by having a different ending other than true ending. But here, it seems like we have different endings on the basis how many letters do, do we get. So I feel like it's kind of in my duty to find the, the other letters. So I'm pretty sure I will get back to this game and uh, discover other endings, most likely. Um, so that this is gonna be another video for now. I guess a compilation where I've been missing the letters, I think, right? Because if I hit continue, will I get back to the mirror room? Then it would make sense to change the story. Yeah. And then the different endings when we go to the party. Okay, great. So I guess let's just go back to the menu. So I'm missing one from first, two from second, two from third, five from fourth, two from... Okay, I think that's doable. Okay, let's go back to the quest menu. That was pretty much it. So wait, let me see the timeline and we are... Okay, so... It's true what uh, people were saying, the game you, is pretty much two hour uh, gameplay. Just playing normally, kinda, and just like finding on the way the letters and just like, you know, figure out the puzzles. So the game was how much? Was it 15 or I think it was 20 euro, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't think I can check it because it doesn't show the price when I purchase something. No, okay. But I think it was 15 or 20. If Let's say it was 20. If it wasn't, then I'll just correct that in the video, like in the description or like whatever on the screen I'll show. Anyways, the game... So, adventure puzzle game, next to the most like gameplay pretty much. I, I guess I appreciated some unique traits like, you know, this whole upwards view and like you know just kind of like the dimension of it just like rotating the world and stuff like that i felt like i kept half like i had like a kind of disconnect with the storyline it's all set up in alice in the wonderland universe but it's not really like connecting in a sense that like i don't really I'm not immersed. That's kind of a thing. I don't really care for the story. I guess I just kind of want to play, solve the puzzles, and that's pretty much it. So whatever the story would be in Down the Rabbit Hole, I could not care. I don't know for why. It's just disconnecting for me. Uh, I appreciated the humoristic kind of uh, aspect to it. So like, uh, Whoever wrote like the dialogues and just like kind of interactions with the characters did a good job, pretty much. Storytelling, not ca not really, but like the actual dialogues and just like interactions, great. Um, two hour gameplay for twenty euro or fifteen, whatever, is for an adventure game is I think all right. Because Curious Tales of the Stolen Pets had the same pricing pretty much and the same kind of gameplay time. 
So if we pass that, then we can pass this this one as well. And it's kind of some replayability because you get different endings, I'm assuming, and we'll see. So that's another aspect to the price. So I think the price is sufficient. Graphics, well, it's obviously fairy tailish. I guess it could be a little bit better, like a little bit sharper in textures, I guess more detailed. But at the same time, like the characters were detailed, the world itself, it could use, I guess, some improvements, but like overall it was fine. I thought it would be more mind-blowing, like in unique kind of, I guess, mechanics. But other than just like, you know, seeing world upwards was nothing new that we've not seen in a quest store. But it was fine. I enjoyed my time, so that kind of what counts. Uh, we will do other endings, obviously. I think there are either two or one, because there were two uh, options to answer the queen, either become or go back to the place we've been living. But like then, by collecting every letter, it's two endings at the same time. I don't know. We'll see. So, pretty cute. I guess it was fine. <laughs> I don't know. I say that I, my tone is like, <laughs> it was not fine, but it was fine. Like, it was nothing mind-blowing, but I enjoyed playing that. And uh, I like the, the aspect of, like I guess, kind of jumping into the first person camera and just like actually being being in the world the alice in the world around scenario on to the other endings if i'll do what i'll do whatever 